Hi, Akshay. Hi, sir. Good morning. So, first of all, 40 congratulations to you as you secured AR46 rank from CSE branch. Thank you, sir. So, would you like to explore yourself? What is your preparation journey? How did you start preparation? So, I finished uh, college last year in 2024. Uh, after that, uh, in, while in college, I got uh, some opportunities in private companies, but I was not satisfied with those packages and I was not satisfied in working in a private environment. So, I was thinking uh, how to move forward in life and my sister had followed a similar path in taking MTech and afterwards joining in a government-based company. So I thought maybe I should also do that. And that's why I thought about writing GATE itself. Uh, so afterwards, I searched for a couple of institutes and came across GATE for uh, CS. There was not uh, any other good reputed institutions for GATE coaching. So I yes. came across this ACE Academy and then I joined. And afterwards, I have still here. Very nice. grateful to the faculty and stuff. So. It's good to hear. And which mode of the course have you attended? Is it online or offline? Yeah, I have uh, joined the online mode of coaching for GATE only. So uh, computer science doesn't have ESC exam. So I joined the GATE exam only course for computer science. It was a live classes. So we had around like four to five hours of um, online classes daily in the afternoon. And uh, they also gave us uh, the study materials, around uh, 20 or so textbooks. And uh, we were also given um, the availability of online test series. So there was much help. Yes. As you have started full-time preparation, and there are four to five hours online course uh, duration is there, then how did you manage the remaining time for your preparation? So the classes were usually in the afternoon sessions. So it started around like 2 o'clock and had to go on till around 10 p.m. some days. Correct. So uh, I myself uh, used the plan of studying in the night because I was more comfortable studying, staying up at the night. I wasn't much of an early bird. So I used to study uh, uh, until the midnight or even afterwards till one or two. And then I would sleep and wake up much late, like around 10 o'clock. So I got around uh, four hours of time daily for myself to study. And uh, I also use my own lecture notes because I was more comfortable with my own handwriting. So I used to keep my own lecture notes and I would revise with those. And also yeah. the study materials they provided had a lot of uh, questions to go through. So there was more than enough to carry out for the four hours daily. So it means you made frequently revision, right? Otherwise it is very difficult. Yeah, uh, the lecture notes they taught in a class would be revised in at least within a month. So it wouldn't uh, go, it, I won't forget it, so. Correct. So like, uh, actually, you know, uh, usually when people are uh, attending for online or offline courses, they are frequently asking me questions like, uh, uh, what is the preparation strategy they're asking? Like preparation strategy, I mean, generally they're asking, after completion of class notes, shall we start PYQ questions? Or after completion of the class notes, shall we start some mock test? What is the pipeline of your preparation? Where to start and where to end? What is the pipeline of your preparation? Um, so before that, I would like to add that uh, the key point is consistency because uh, whatever, however strategy we are following, my my belief is that consistency is the main key. Like uh, whatever, how, however less time we are spending each day, we should be able to spend some time every day for this because once we are off the track, it's very hard to uh, come back to it. Now, my uh, personal in my personal case, the strategy was like, I used to cover the lecture notes initially, and I would uh, go along with the textbook uh, workbook that was given by the academy. So the workbook yes, yes. had a lot of um, in-syllabus and out-of-syllabus questions. So we could cover the something like called expected areas. Like yes. in the previous years, the questions were not asked from those concepts, but we, are, uh, we can be prepared if they ask it in the coming years. So... Those kind of questions I used to uh, work out. Afterwards, around like uh, December and January, when the portions was over, that's when I switched to the online test series because uh, some of the tests were uh, topic-wise and subject-wise, but most of the, I was more concentrated on the full-length mock tests. Like we had to get the experience. So uh, for sitting in front of the laptop for three hours and maintaining the 
uh, concentration. So I only started the full length mode tests around like December or January. Before that, I was uh, only uh, concerned about the workbook questions and the PYQs. Yes. So I was able to cover almost all the syllabus by around January. And uh, I began coaching in around like July. So that gives about six to seven months. And uh, um, the portions was fully covered by that. Very nice. So there are uh, many subjects are there for gate computers and engineering. And which subject did you face uh, very difficulty and how did you tackle those? Well, uh, most of the core subjects were uh, quite easy. Like when I studied it in the college, it was uh, very hard to comprehend. Yeah. But the uh, faculty, I'm not, <laughs> I have to say this out of my heart because they made the uh, way of learning the subject much easier. Like they were on point. Uh, none of the faculty were giving wide explanations. They were giving only what was needed for the exam. So it made, yes. quite, it, made it quite easy to learn the subject. Uh, but comparatively, I faced more difficulty with uh, computer networks because it was a wide subject and uh, yeah. there was a lot of a theory involved. So in that subject, I was more concerned about the practical sessions because uh, considering the previous year question papers, I found out that most of the questions were from numerical side and uh, that would cover, that would be like for two marks or so. And uh, they don't even have negative marking. So I was more concerned about the numerical part of the subject and the theory I just skimmed through. But uh, thankfully, I was able to remember the part that I uh, studied and uh, it all worked well. So our race engineering academic course is really useful for identifying all those areas, right? Yeah, the faculty only gives us what was needed for the exam. That makes it quite easier to learn the subject because in college, they were uh, teaching it in a widespread manner. But this was more uh, on to the point and uh, that made it quite easy, easier to learn the subject. Really, actually, I used to say to the students like that, instead of collecting a lot of material and getting disturbed by themselves, it's so better to stick to the syllabus and then dig that whole area. That is a very yes, important uh, for preparation. Okay. That was much help. Yes. And uh, what would you like to suggest for uh, future aspirants now? Like gate 2026, there are some students are going to appear. So what is what did you like to suggest for them? Well, uh, only thing I would like to repeat is that consistency is the key uh, because even my parents used to say that no matter uh, even if you spend five minutes on a subject daily, if you maintain it throughout the year until the at some day, you will you will be sure to learn at least some part of the subject. Like we can't sit idle for uh, one hour daily for a year because we will learn something anyway. So consistency is the main key for me, and I hope that that will help you help you guys also in the future and another thing to note is that just like Sarah said do not uh, go searching for a, a wide range of study materials and all just uh, buy a good set of um, study materials that are correct like you need to make sure the facts in it are correct and then stick to it like uh, don't go around in the um, browsing in the internet because they have a lot of options and many of that may not even be correct we cannot guarantee the correctness in the sources given in the internet. So stick to sources that, that can be genuine, that can be um, authentic and uh, stick to it. It will be much Very easier nice. to ace the exam. Very nice. So when did you start writing mock test and grand test exams? Because uh, um, each of every... Mock, yeah. yeah, in the online test series that the Academy provides, we had uh, topic-wise series, uh, um, subject-wise series, multi-subject-wise series, and uh, full-length mock tests. So yes. I used to write the topic-wise and subject-wise series uh, once I finished the notes for a subject. Like uh, once the subject was over, I used to revise through the lecture notes that was that I made and then uh, go through the questions that I have done from the workbook and then I would attempt the subject-wise test. But the full-length mock, mock test, I wasn't confident enough to attempt them until like December when the portions was almost over. And I felt like that I had to attempt the questions, like the time was near me. And uh, there was almost like a 12 number of uh, full-length mock tests. And uh, in total, there was around like 100 or so tests in the website. So yeah. it was more than enough to get an experience. Like the interface was just like what we had to experience in the uh, main exam. So the interface, the experience was quite like it, quite like the main exam. Very nice. So like, uh, see, when you're reading first time the subject, it is uh, it will take time, obviously. Mm -hmm. So like how frequent you're reading the subject and uh, did you maintain any micro notes to revise very quickly? Well, uh, I did not 
in the beginning, I did not keep micro notes. I used to go through my own lecture notes, which were quite elaborate. Like even more than the faculty gave, I, I used to write small points at the side for me to understand. Yes. But afterwards, when I was trying to revise for the final exam, I found it very difficult to go through the entire uh, lecture notes. So then I started keeping micro notes. I used to take photos of the notes that I have written because it was too hard to write again. So yeah. I used to take photos and make PDFs out of it. I used to make uh, PDFs of uh, 50 or so pages from a note that was like uh, uh, 100, 200 pages. So in that way, I kept around like four or five short notes of uh, most of the tough subjects. And uh, that made it more easier to just skim through before the exam. Very nice. Excellent. And uh, like uh, one more thing, there are some subjects which are interrelated, right? Like algorithm, data structures, and programming, yes, like uh, uh, computer organization and OS. Oh, yes, yeah. How did you handle those subjects? Have you um, combined all the subjects at a time or you have you started one no, subject? No, the uh, good thing is that the academy gave the lectures in an order, like uh, for your class itself, it was like data structures and then uh, algorithm came by. So yes. it was in a flow and uh, if we continued along with the academy, we could easily connect the subjects and learn from it. Similarly, detail logic and uh, computer organization, it was like a uh, connected subject. So when it followed along with the academy, it was quite easy to um, remember the points. So yes, the ACA not... academy always starting pipeline of the subjects. One yeah, they are also already scheduling the subjects in that manner, like uh, yeah. how they are interrelated and all. Because they started with maths uh, in the initially, so a lot of the content that was learned in the maths was used in many of um, algorithms and many other subjects. So it was much help. Very good. So and uh, what about mathematics? Like, how did you prepare for mathematics? Because mathematics is also very important for. Uh, yeah, maths had uh, there were uh, four subsets of mathematics for CS like uh, uh, calculus. Um, Different, calculus and differentiation, then linear algebra, set theory, and then probability. discrete mathematics, uh, yes. probability also. So the probability and calculus was easier, like we had learned it in uh, smaller classes, so it was not much problem. But then when it came to discrete maths, it was an, another area because there were a lot of um, small formulas and all, and a lot of um, portions had to be covered. So it was kind of like a tough journey, but then uh, with the short notes and all, and the way it was all presented, like I used to imagine how they were going to, when I joined the online courses, my parents was also concerned, like how were they going to explain the subjects through the mode? Like there was no blackboard or anything. Right. We had nothing to look through, but then the faculty made it possible through um, Google Jamboards or something. I don't know clearly, but they uh, draw, drew all the diagrams and all in a perfect way just by the hand. So it was, uh, it was a surprise for me. I didn't expect that much from an online um, session. So all that made it easier to tackle the subject. The street mathematics were kind of uh, tricky, but then the short notes and all helped a lot. Good. Very nice. What is your future goal, Akshay? Uh, future, I'm not uh, much. <laughs> I haven't thought about it much because the results only came by last week. And, uh, but in my aim, I had already uh, said that I would go for a government job rather than a private private one. So if the PSUs are opening applications, I would def definitely apply for them. And uh, if not, uh, um, if my faith is there, I would go for the MPEG, but I'm- I hope definitely we'll get going on PSUs because- Yeah, thank you, sir. Online, right? uh, thank you, sir. I'm trying for the PSUs, definitely. And if they start the application, I will definitely apply for Thank you for sharing your vast experience. It's really useful for the next future aspirants. And thank you for spending time with us. So hearty you, congratulations once again on behalf of the entire ACE Academy. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. I hope my words help anybody in the future. Definitely. Your friends. experience and your words definitely will inspire someone. Okay. So thanks for spending time with us. Thank, thank you. Sir.